Allie Borealis here. Welcome to my channel and thanks for subscribing. So I just finished up at the DMV and my guy's still in there. I think he's going to be a while. So he's like, why don't you go thrift and uh, I'll let you know when I'm finished. So there's a thrift store right around the corner from here. I'm going to go check it out. Let's see what we can find. I think I've been to this thrift store before. I live in Southern California. So we have thrift stores. I'm in the Los Angeles area actually. So we have thrift stores like crazy. There it is, Eco Thrift. I have been here before. And when I thrift, I always make sure I have a jeweler's loop with me so I can read those markings. Hi. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, this particular thrift store has a whole other room with the jewelry in it. So I'm gonna pop over there and see what we can find. And there it is. Ta-da! So this section has all the stuff I look for. It has the jewelry and it has the hard goods. This is cute. No markings. Does it even have a price on it? Oh, here we go. Six dollars. Hmm. All the fall stuff is out right now. This is cute. Oh, that's like a heavy glass. Let me um, see about that one. Hmm. I started to comp it because it's only $2.99 and it's heavy glass, but then I noticed it has a scratch mark all the way through the glass, so I passed on it. They had a lot of cat stuff happening on this particular day, a lot of cat figurines, and uh, this one was made in Brazil, but I passed on that one. He's very cute with his blue eyes. And then this other one, unmarked, very sweet. And then I saw this cat egg and I just felt like maybe it should have had a stand or something with it. I couldn't figure out how to have it uh, displayed without it rolling around. I saw a few more cats and then I saw this mushroom and mushrooms are hot sellers right now. But unfortunately, it didn't have a price tag on it, so it was a no-go. Some thrift stores are an absolute no on things that don't have a sticker on it, and other thrift stores will tell you to take it to the back and let them price it for you, and then you can take it to the register. And considering I didn't have a lot of time that day, I just passed on the mushroom. I don't know if that was a mistake. You tell me. It was a pretty nice glazed piece. Maybe I should have taken a little more time and gotten a sticker on it. So here are the things that I actually purchased from that store. A couple of pieces of jewelry. We'll go through that. A lovely glass bird figurine and some surprises, a surprise bag, which I've never gotten before and a Disney item. You guys ready to go through it together? So I'm going to start off. I never get these grab bags. <clears throat> I just picked one up. It showed up right in front of me and it looked like it had a bunch of interesting pieces in it. So I'm going to open it up and let's see. I think this is like a glass hummingbird stopper that looks amazing. And I think the beacon is still intact, but let's open it up together and see what I have in here. And this was on sale too because um, the orange was on sale. So I believe it was 25% off and hopefully I have some good things in here. So that's a candle holder with a an angel, right? And it has the sticker. Let's see what that sticker says. This does feel like it's solid brass. I didn't find any exact comps on it. The best I could come up with was about $10 to $12, but I'll give it to you guys for eight. Very cute, very cute, especially in time for the holidays. Next thing, we have these. They're like decorative safety pins. So we have a fleur-de-lis, a heart, and a crown. Let's see if there's any markings. I, I think it, this is the original uh, card that it came on, but I'm not seeing any markings on there. But they, they are interesting. Um, I wonder if this is, was like a crafts or hobby project that somebody put together. 
I'm going to do some more information, do some more research and see if I can get any more information on these. I don't even know what you would use those for in this modern day and age. They're like big diaper pins, but you know, you're not going to obviously put those on a diaper. So I don't know what you use those for. What do you think? What do you think you use those for? So these were actually also really hard to comp. So I'm just going to say $5 for all three of these. Now this is amazing. This is a hummingbird like stopper and the beak, usually these are chipped or something, but the beak is really intact. It's, I can tell it's smooth. It's not chipped at all. I don't know what that came off of, if it was a bottle of perfume or what it was, but I'm gonna try to Google image it and see if I can get any more information. It's so beautiful. I can tell it's molded glass because there's a seam at the bottom of it. So this is what I found when I Google imaged it. It does go on top of a perfume bottle. This is a sold price on this one. Here's another sold comp that's just the top and it seems like it's the same mold. And this one's clear. So I think if I listed mine by itself, considering it's colored glass and I don't have the bottle, I could probably get something in between the two prices. So I'll list this one on eBay for $22 and I'll give it to my viewers for 16. And then we have this giraffe. It feels like resin. I think it's resin. No markings though, but he's a cutie. I totally underestimated this little giraffe. When I took a closer look at him, I realized he's actually porcelain and he's signed, which is Wade Ceramics Limited based in England. They started creating these little animal figurines in the 1950s, which were known as whimsies. This little giraffe comps anywhere from $12 to $2, and I'll give him to my viewers for $4. And then the last thing we have is this giraffe. with a, It's got a crystal right here, and then I think you just like rest him. Let's see if he's going to stand up for us. I think he does. I think you gotta, I gotta play with him a little bit, but voila, there he goes. He's standing on his own. I am gonna look and see if there are any markings on this crystal to see if it's, um, you know, anything like Waterford or Swarovski or anything. So I glued him back together. He seems to be doing fine. I comped this and all the ones that look similar to this one, everyone's calling it Swarovski. And I'm not seeing any markings except there's a an R on one of the heels here, on one of the hooves. So I'm not clear what the R is. Um, anyway, but but all the ones that look identical to this one are comping at $10 to $15 sold. So I can do $8 for my viewers. So this next one is a beautiful glass bird figurine with a little bitty vase and when i researched this in the store well i was able to research it because when i flipped it upside down it does have the original sticker on there bluebird it says um made in usa terra studios so i researched it and um these are made by a guy named i think his name is leo ward and they come in a lot of different kind of styles. They're all kind of his bluebird themed, but very few of them have a little vase on the side. Most of them are just paperweights with the bird. So I thought, oh, having the little vase on the side is really gonna comp it higher. It's gonna be a higher seller because it's not very common at all. And then I was looking online and most of them attribute to this guy, Leo Ward, and they can attribute the year so when I flipped it over just a few minutes ago, I noticed that this one is, it, there's like an L peeking out right here. So I thought, oh, is this one signed too? Of course it probably is, but let's see what we have underneath this sticker. Oh, there's another sticker, original price sticker. Look, it's sticking on there. And I think there's a signature. I wish I wasn't pulling up that original sticker, but it just looks like I'm gonna be pulling it up. Maybe I can figure out what it says because I would love to know what the original price was on that. Oh, it does say Leo Ward 19, 
I think it's a 19, it's either 98 or 88. Is that a crack? No, I think that's just, I don't think that's, maybe it is cracked. But you know what, even if it's cracked, number one, you can't see that it's cracked from this side, if it is. And number two, I'm keeping this. So <laughs> I just wanted to share it with you. Um, you know, it was marked at $6.99. Let's get that off of there. It was marked at $6.99, so I think it's a deal. I'll show you what the comps are on it. So I reverse imaged that original sticker and it looks like it originally sold for $11.50. There were four comps. The first two, there was only one bid. So sometimes you can just get in there and find an item with no bids and get it at the lowest price that it's being offered. And I tend to put less weight on those comps that only have one bid on them. Now the other two were buy it now prices and both of them were purchased at the price it was listed at. This was listed at $14.99 and it went for $14.99. Now the second one was listed for $32 and it went for $32, which I really think is a more accurate representation of this one with the little vase. So this is probably closer to what I would list this at if I was gonna list it. And I did style it up with a yellow rose. So the next thing I saw was this Disney, I, you know, of course we recognize the ears. <clears throat> it looks like it's kind of a deviled egg platter or it could be for Easter. I don't know what's under here yet, but it was so inexpensive. I thought, oh, you know, I'm gonna probably get this just because it's priced at $1.99. And then when I flipped it over, I saw that it has the original sticker on it. So that's a bonus when you're uh, pricing things. And you can see it has the little Disney emblem and it has this series of numbers, which I couldn't even tell you what that means. But I am curious what's under the sticker here. And it looks like there is a, a Mickey and a Minnie coming out with a little Easter basket. And let me show, oh, they're dressed up too. They have a little bunny outfits. So let me show you what the comps are on this without the sticker. There weren't any sold comps and I only found these two listings both without original stickers. So it's not a very common item. I'd probably start high like at $24 to see if the original sticker gives it that much more value. But I'll give it to my viewers for $15. So I picked up this one, pretty little bracelet. It was marked um, $7.99, but it was 25% off. And this is a Florenza bracelet. I'm gonna cut the tag off there. So I paid $6.60 with tax. You can see the mark on it. And I'll comp that one out for you guys. I wasn't finding an exact match on this one, but similar Florenza bracelets, the average comp was around $35, which is probably what I'll list it for, but I'll give it to my viewers for $24. Next, I picked up this really unique Suaro cactus brooch. I really have never seen anything like this, and I don't come across Suaro brooches very often. And... Um, it was yellow tagged, which were the new things that they had just set out. It was only $2.99, so I figured I'd pick it up. It is unbranded. And I think there's a little bit of wear on the gold here, but it was unique enough that I thought I could work it out and um, see what I could get on it. I think it'll sell well. Just a little sidebar here. Suaro cacti are really only found in Arizona, but there are a couple of remote populations in California as well. And I've linked a PBS article below if you're interested in reading more about that. This is the closest comp I could find. And granted, it's a prickly pear and not a Suaro, but they're both gold toned. Some of the Suaro ones I was finding were not, didn't look very well made. So this is really the closest comp I could find. I'm going to list mine for 25 as well, but I'll give it to my viewers for 18. I have this really pretty and older filigree silver bracelet. You can see it has a really older style pin clasp. 
you just put that in there and then you slide the pen down um, I'll have to fool with it but but you get the idea it's very pretty it has this lovely center flower piece to it and it's old filigree I think as I've looked at this more I don't know if you can see it let's see if I can zoom in here it looks as though someone took a silver cream to it there are spots on here that just look like they've got cream stuck in the middle of it and I don't clean silver like that first of all, the pieces that I've seen that are made similar to this one often have a really nice patina on them because they are so old but it seems like it just seems like someone tried tried to clean this and didn't really understand how to clean this filigree style or that you shouldn't even clean really old silver that oftentimes the value is in the patina and having not tried to improve it so I'm gonna do a scratch test because I suspect this is silver so first off it is non-magnetic so that's a good start there and let me just find a little spot to to do a little scratch mark and I'll use the 18 karat solution on it and then if it's a bright whitish blue we definitely will have some silver but let's see and we do as I suspected these are the two sold comps I found one for $70 and the other for $28.50 I'm gonna list mine at $45 to start but I'll sell it to you guys for 30 look at this cutie this cute little seahorse now this one was higher priced it was $24.99 and I'll show you in a minute why I bought it even though it was $24.99 I'll show you what the comps are on it it is unbranded I didn't even notice it has that on there I wonder if that was a brand tag that was on there and they cut it off mm. no markings on the back but really super adorable so many people are calling this an unsigned Hattie Carnegie and I'm seeing a few different versions so on this $54 sold comp you can see the stones are different on the eye and the crown and then on this $80 sold comp you can see the stones on the eye and the crown are different and the color of the metal is different and this last $125 sold comp is an exact match for mine is this little guy an unsigned Hattie Carnegie hard to say whether he is or isn't he's pretty spectacular I'm gonna go with the comp that matches him and list him at $125 and I'll give them to you guys for 95 thanks for joining me today if you like what you're seeing hit that subscribe button it's free <laughs>